Well, this is something that I have not done in a very, very long time. Hey, Beetle people, what's good? It is Record Store Day. It is approximately 7.37 in the morning, and the record store that I am going to try first today opens at 9. I know that's a little bit late, and maybe there's a huge line. I don't know. I was working late last night filling in for Meg Griffin, and I didn't get to bed till late, so this is what time I woke up, so we'll see what happens. Now, today's objective more or less, is that Beatles turntable. I want that Beatles turntable more than anything. Um, if we cannot find the Beatles turntable, of course, there are releases from John Lennon, George Harrison, Ringo Starr that are definitely on my list. But the top priority today is that turntable. Let's see what happens. Well, coming up to stop number one, already a huge line. I totally missed the mark here. Um, but hopefully they have the turntable and hopefully all of these people don't want it. Um, so we will see what happens. I'm here at East West Records, which is the oldest record store in the Orlando area. And um, unfortunately, I, I haven't been here in like eight years. It's been a hot minute. So I'm excited to go back and see what is gonna happen. Let's find out. We have an hour till they open. So I waited in line for an over an hour at record store number one to find out that they do not have the turntable. Now I am driving about 30 minutes to another record store uh, to see if maybe they'll possibly have it. The guy at the first store said that the only shop he knew in our area that ordered any was all the way out in Lakeland and that's over an hour away and uh, I don't think I can do that. So wish me luck. I'll get there about 10 minutes before this next shop opens and I'm probably gonna have to wait in another really long line. So I have made it to store number two. It opens in about eight minutes. It's almost uh, 10 a.m. here. Um, the line is super, 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 super long. So I guess I'll go and get in it and see what happens. Oy vey, this record player, man. I don't know if we're gonna find it. And the shop is a good ways away at the very end of this uh, strip mall. So it is now 11.45 in the morning. That means it's been nearly two hours since I arrived at uh, Smart Punk Records, which they did not have the turntable, but I did get the John Lennon Mind Games Glow in the Dark EP. Um, I called another record store to see if they had it while I was in line. They do not have the record player. And I'm going to go to one more place which opens in about 15 minutes and uh, we'll see that and I think that's gonna be it. There's one other store that I know that they most likely do have it, but it's the most popular record store here in town and I know that that place is a shit show right now. So I don't know, we shall see. The search continues. Okay, we have made it to our third stop, Retro Records and Tapes. Let's see if we have any luck. Okay. 
So that is store number three, and if you include the fourth store that I called, no Beatles turntable. Uh, what I keep hearing from the owners of these shops is that it was made by a different distributor that distributed stuff. I, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, but I did pick up Ringo's Crooked Boy, so at least all is not lost. Um, now the thing with the other store where I'm 90% sure out of all the stores in the area, this particular place would have it, a Park Ave CDs, the biggest record store uh, in our area here in Orlando. And they're very strict when it comes to their record store day stuff. You have to have signed up for a time to get in line, stuff like that. But the general public can go into the store uh, starting at 1.30. It is 12.30 right now. So I'm wondering if I should head over there, maybe try and find a parking spot because I'm sure it's nuts. They usually use the entire parking lot and have like vendors and people selling stuff and barbecues and stuff outside, um, which is one of the reasons why I avoid that area during record store day, because it's nuts. But it may be the only place to go and get this turntable. So back out on the road. Let's try this again. So knowing that the parking situation is probably very chaotic. I found a random spot on the side of the street and we walk from here. All the crazy traffic going by. It's funny, in all these years of record collecting, I've never been to Park Ave on record store day. Usually I'll go the day after because these guys order a million of everything. So, we shall see. Well, that was a bust. But, out of all the stores, they did have the turntable. They are all sold out of the turntable. So I didn't even bother getting in line to even see. Um, so that is that. I have tried all of my options and no Beatles mini turntable for me. Well, I guess the next part of this video will be unboxing the uh, Ringo Crooked Boy and John Lennon Glow in the Dark EPs. Stay tuned. Well, Beetle people, I am home after a hard day's hunt. Man, what a day it has been. And um, I decided that instead of unboxing these EPs here at the end of the video, I'm going to make a separate video entirely. So hop on to the next video where I will be unboxing Ringo's Crooked Boy and John Lennon's Mind Games Glow in the Dark EP. Yay! Y'all, <laughs> what a day, what a morning. Oh, I'm really sad that I don't have a turntable to open on camera, but who knows? Maybe I'll find someone down the line someday. All right, until the next video, which will be, well, next. Peace and love. See ya.